We gotta, uh, gotta play a Fine. song in the background. A little noise in the background. <laughs> All right, we lost this game, but there's a lot of good ways, like good things that happen. So at the, at the like kind of the start of the game, the starting strats don't really matter too much, but don't throw. That's the kind of like main basic of it. it doesn't really matter too much of what you do at the start. Like specifically for uh for matchmaking, like what you do at the first ten seconds doesn't really matter too much. But the tournaments, yeah, there's a little bit more pressure in there. But at the at the start of this match, we had like multiple guys go out B. We had like three guys play out B side, and I just sit Z, kind of just watch her cross and like kind of just watch my lanes, watch ATM, watch mid, watch B. Um, there's not really like much for me to do playing the game until my play is based off what my teammates do. So like if my teammates win their B side push and we get a kill or two, which we do, I can Enemy kind of try to fight this out. Because we won that side, I could fight this out. I could get, I could get this space on the map. So like I'm playing for this space. It doesn't. My only problem here is like I should be more aggressive. Like I'm taking too much time. I need to be, I need to be rocking out with the cock out. I need to be flying. <laughs> All right. Like I should, I should not be. Like this is bad out of me. Like I'm just taking too long. Around. I'm taking too long. Like I have way too much time to set up. You know him, himself for an individual fight, which he does, and he does it really good. That's what Optic does. They they recognize when they're they're down in these fights and they're about to get collapsed on and they're 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 really good at setting themselves up and unfortunately like they him even getting a trade kind of makes the game not awkward but it the the advantage that we had is kind of gone because i took too much time got it got it so we could we could, we could have just bullied the fuck out of lucid and 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 kill him without getting a trade right, like, right. without him getting a trade And is this tournament or scrims? This is a tournament. This is oh, uh, okay. This is huge. Then. Yeah. This is like really. Yeah. Old. Yeah. yeah. So that was like you know, it wasn't detrimental, but it's it's stuff that I'm working on. It and make, it makes a difference. That, yeah, yeah. It, it makes a difference. It's um, it's the difference between life or death. Like your your timings <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you're not. Hundred percent. So what I did here, this was something that we worked on a lot, and something that I, I'm really proud of myself for doing like extremely fast is that we get ball we and ball. We, we we like kind of got them clear out a so they're not going to spawn like back a they could possibly spawn pd because they're, they're, they have guys kind of close to it but i doubt it they'll probably keep spawning red room luckily i don't sit still during this moment a lot of people will sit still after they get this ball out like we get this kill we get this ball like we get this other kill, like Husk could go cafe because he has a teammate cafe, or my teammate could play out into to see, so he we get space on the map. So we have ideas of what we can do and ideas of where we can rotate. But instead, we have like ball. I play out for space. I eight towards C. I don't I don't really hesitate, which is like really good. Like because I get this C control, because I got this C control. Look at all the space that. I've kind of cleared out for my teammates instead of like if I were to hunch up with my teammate, like yeah we're kind of tight, but like where are they? Where right. can they be? Right. They could be they could be A side. They could be like you know tires just running out mid. They could possibly be just running out C. Like we don't know where. We we don't really have an idea of like what we want to do. Luckily, I play out towards C. I get the space on the map, and I get to you know. Kind of just mess around a little bit, try to shoot my gun. So, so the, of shooting this guy, I don't So the question I bet people would say is like, why play C instead of A there? Because you're so close to A, you know? Is it because there's gonna be PD, Sinchar three bunched up, or what's the? So, go ahead. My my reasoning for playing towards C is because I know that they're B side, and I can. It doesn't really matter too much if I play for A or C. Like in my head, is like, I want the easiest spawn to kind of control, which I can either. You know, force PD spawns or like you know, if we win a fight, right. or I can immediately just push towards C. If I get my C control, I know for a fact I'm spawning them B or Red Room. That's like my mindset of it. I know you know some people would probably on my on my on my roster would have like different right ideas for going C, but this is my idea. Like I go C and I know where everybody is because I see that my teammates 
cafe side and ATM, so they can't be cafe side. So I already like cut down the map on where are they spawning? Okay, they're either going to spawn inside B or they're spawning red room. They spawn B, this guy plays out, I get that call out. Like now they're already playing out because you know they were four alive and we just spawn, we just spawn C. So, you know, I, I let my teammate have the C control because my, I spawn my teammate C, I can push out for even more space or I can like rotate back to my teammate and just like try to get a fight. I get this kill. After I get this kill, I should want to play towards the middle of the map or like reading my shields and try to help help my other teammates, which I kind of do. I do it a little bit late, but I, I try. Got you, got you. After, getting, after getting this kill or after they got this kill, I don't, I don't completely agree with me running out B rail and and finding this P side, but it's not the worst play because I have shotgun, so it's okay for me like kind of make this first E play. So like I kind of play out, I get this kill. Like this is just like, this isn't crazy like mechanics or anything, but this definitely does help like having the ability to like just like you know get this kill back up a little bit. Like he's one shot, so I clean it up. Right here, I should play out P. It's either I want to play out P to a uh, cafe or because I just got done getting this double kill, it does not fucking matter if I die. Like I got this double kill. I have two teammates B like I can regain my shields and, and okay. play out for even more kills, Another. which I do. I just take a really weird really lane for it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't really. It doesn't matter. I said before, like it doesn't matter too much. I got a double kill. So in my head is like, one, I just got done doing a 1v2, like, my job's done. I, I could I could, I could, die in peace. Or I can <laughs> yeah. play for more, which, I, you know, I could like be a little bit more aggressive here and, like, try to play for more. So I play the middle of the map because I just got done coming, clearing out the outskirts. Um, But this isn't really the best fight that I've taken in my career. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But I understand the idea. And then you using the repulse is something that a lot of people forget. I mean, I know we grab them sometimes, but a lot of people that are below even 16, 1700, they don't grab the equipment as much as they should. Um, yeah. yeah. Not only that, like, there's spider damage and stuff. You, could, you Like, I've splat people so many times, like, willingly and, like, trying to splat them so I don't have to shoot my gun. And, like, it works like, quite, quite often, especially if you, like, two shot, if you two shot beat down and, and repulse them into the wall, they'll die almost every time. Nice. That sounds good. So like, it's definitely like helpful for like you're trying to get double kills because like it cuts off not like so much time, but it cuts off like a a crucial second, a half a second that you might need to you know kind of snap on that other guy. All right, that makes sense. What am I doing here? Uh, we this is kind of funny, yeah. Ball all right. Now, from what I've said before, what do I do now? Like, I want you guys to tell me. Oh, damn. We, what, got, we got a question. What should I do? All right. What should you do, guys? I have a guy Mando. I have a guy B stairs. Like, we just got done killing three. I have a teammate bottom C. What should I do? And how many are down? There's three. There's three dead. One, one guy spawned B side. He spawned uh, PD. All right, let's should, go, uh, go, go, go. <laughs> I think you, you should go like top IV and collapse with your uh, teammates on, on some damage, also cleanups. You think whatever. I should go top IV and collapse yeah. on who? He's oh, dead wait, already. they're all dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, there's there's, you one, go there's one guy, there's one guy alive. He's he's all the way, he's a spawner, he's a respawner. He's a yeah, right there, and, the red. Uh, yeah, then I think that uh, maybe like right here, I would go like, you know, cafe to like, you know, just sort of block that spawn and then uh and then just like a hold that you know purple street lane watch arcade from like uh, uh bulldog window so you're saying you would go cafe like kind of like second pillar or first pillar just block this spawn and you know force this one yeah 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 that's great that's perfect gotcha and like, we'll, yeah go ahead this is kind of what i do i go cafe like i make sure i block this spawn I see that Ryan, me and Ryan are pushing up, so I guess in my head Ryan's shooting, so I guess we're playing for split spawners. We're gonna, you know, try to push, to, try to kill this guy PD and give them split spawns to red, red room, which you know we kind of do. Ball we're just fighting this to the death. We have the ball. Ball drop. Now, the thing about us doing this, of us, uh, us going cafe and going A and finding this out, is that like we had C control 
I think we kind of played this not the best as we, but in a in the ideal world, like we have C control, we we pushed out towards A, so that you know we have that space on the map. Like look at all the space that we guaranteed if we wanted to rotate out. If we you know when we did give them that space spawn and we wanted to play out, play out a little bit, we could like kind of fight back. Got you, got you. That makes sense. That was like camo's coming up. Finding towards the middle, get your run trades. So I'm just here trying to, I'm trying to piv. This is terrible. This is so bad on me. I go like, why is this bad? I, I want you guys to tell me why is this bad. Like my team, one of my teammates traded out. My teammate who was topsy was ball guy died. My you teammate who's shoddy. Ball. Ball. My teammate who's shoddy trades Action out. Cam so I'm in a one v. Two. Yeah, you're like suicide in here almost. Yeah. Yeah, especially optic. It's not like it's not optic, right? <laughs> like yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not yeah, magic. Camo is never worth dying for. Like, I do it all the fucking time though. <laughs> but camo is never worth dying for. Like, it, cam camo's a power up. Like, if you can get camo for free, then get it. But like, if you have to die for it, and, like you know, just like burn burn it. Like, it's not it's not that it's not that good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Said I. Go out into the middle of the map. I shoot my gun, and like I, I guess I was like, oh shit, I can't go for camo because they're just top C. Now I just die here, like, and now because I die here, all my teammates are gonna respawn. Like e Ethan, Ryan, they they, they they both respawn. Hus is gonna respawn soon, and like I didn't spawn up with my teammate, and not even like three more seconds. One of their spawners are gonna spawn like fucking. Right, never mind, they just die. Right. And even and even in that case that you win for that, right? Oh yeah, go ahead. Just to waste it. Wait, give me a second. I bet that I speak out of tongue because I'm supposed to raise my hand or something. Uh, I had to like fix your mic real quick. Oh shit, what's wrong? No, yeah, no, you just said, yeah. Scream, scream loud. Let me, give me a second. Oh, my bad. Oh, you're good. Better? Uh, I just need to put you at like 90%. Fun. My four. Is it still loud? No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right. Yeah. Um, Cam Camo is like almost never worth fucking dying for. Camo is not that good. <laughs> like, Camo's good, but it, it is not worth dying for. Well, yeah, especially at and the like, highest, especially at the highest level, right? I mean, yeah, like, yeah. If, everybody if it, yeah. has fucking 2020 vision, bro. Like, Camo's not that good. Different, like, completely different paradigm than I'm used to. Yeah, like, Camo's good. Don't get me wrong, camo's good, and like, if you can get camo, you absolutely should get camo. But like, in a situation like this, where I literally just, like, we're down on numbers, I know that they're top seed, they just got done killing my teammate. And like, I still try to see if I could get it. Like, this is even like a kind of like, a, a, a jiggle to see if I can get it. This is just a, I'm rocking out with the fucking cock out trying to get this. And I was like, oh shit, never mind. there's a brick wall right in front of me, I can't get it. Yes. And I still, and, and the worst case about it is that, not only that I see that there's a guy top C, I try fucking fighting him. I try, <laughs> I shoot, I sit ATM, like I shoot my gun, and now I dive from a guy close. Yeah, it was like your mission was like three different things at once. And then on top of that, even if you like flying for that, it's not worth you getting all the damage put on you because then you're out of the fight anyway for it when everybody's out. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, no, that, I'm yeah. done. That makes sense. Well, yeah, but luckily like we get we got a kill like kind of early. So like by the time I spawn, there should be a guy who spawns on their side like two all seconds rough. before. But actually no, he just spawned right now. So now my teammates are coming up in the three, three v four. Luckily we got a kill. So like, because I'm the last spawner. What do you guys do when you're the last spawner? Like all your teammates are alive, you spawn up. What right. what, what what's your goal? Like what do you do? Turtle, go for it. Turtle, turtle. Has you, you, tur you, you turtle. No 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 no. The guy's name's Turtle. <laughs> oh, okay. Close enough. I'm sorry. What? I'm turtle. Sorry. What, what? Answer this question. It's your turn. You're the fourth man up. Like all your teammates are alive. They're kind of fighting. What's your job? On the, on for the team as the last guy, fourth as man, the last uh, guy spawning, last one alive. Uh, I remember, I think it was not the last alive. one alive. You're the fourth man coming up. So like your teammates fourth are all your teammates are alive, but you're the last man coming up. What do you do? Um, I'm trying to at least fill in. Well, fill in what are you filling in? Assist them. Assist them. Uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, I would say that's maybe, uh, thank that's you very definitely, much. Yeah, no, that's definitely an, an interesting way of putting it. Um, there's 
if your team into I don't I don't I don't know for I know some people like have kind of a system like a you know like a uh like a setup right like you're filling in a setup but um in in our way of playing the game it's like you're the fourth man spawner your teammates are fighting or like maybe they're not fighting but like by the time you're the fourth man spawning you as the fourth man your ideal goal is to fight is to is to fight as quick as fucking possible Enemy which i try to do I'm, I'm running <laughs> i'm running i'm trying to get in the fight i get past my teammates to fight as the fourth man got you got you got you that makes like, sense. i'm just trying to i'm just trying to fight well one you're the newest guy nobody knows technically where you're at and then also you're usually fully shielded up so i mean you have the most power on the map at that mo at that moment if your teammates are low on shield and shit so yeah makes yeah. sense but I was the fourth man, and I, I I passed some of my teammates trying to get a kill, like, which this is like, not the greatest, but this isn't bad from like the way we talk about the game. Now the moment we get this kill, it's like okay, I sh should like still try to fight here. This is kind of a bad fight. Like it's okay for me to poke these guys and shoot them like once or twice, but like, I die here, and this is like really bad for my team because that's a good like an average right? you kind of got average yeah, there. It's, it's just a, it's a it's a very average death like luckily we just got done killing this guy but like i don't die too like like late after him. i spawn i i die maybe like four or five seconds which means like my teammates in those four or five seconds are going to be fighting a, a 4v3 and because we're, you know, still trying to scav scavenge a little bit of ball time, technically we're fighting a fucking 2v4 or a 2v3. That makes sense. Or fucking, they're going to be fighting a fucking 2v3 now. In four, four seconds, they're going to be fighting a fucking 4v2. Like, like we, only, we only have these two guys who are going to be fighting this one ball, one ball guy. Unless he's going to drop ball and try to fight, then even then we're still in a 4v3. But because, because I died. And like, not even in a good way. I didn't even put down damage. It's just a piss poor death. Remember, so, in between, my spawn. In between guys, go. just in case, uh, if you're new to the stream, remember the stream is uh, pinned in the chat, and it's discord.gg slash clutch academy, just so y'all can get this information in the future too. Things like that, the YouTube will be posted um, of this. So, again, go ahead and just kind of throw that out there for people. <laughs> so off my spawn one I spawned up Ball drop. you can always tell like the way kind of like a, a uh, like a foundation that you can add to, to your game is like when you spawn up where are your teammates where are they placed like what what's the numbers game looking like like for us it's looking like we, we're, we're all four alive and there's only fucking three but where's the four spawner I'm trying to figure out where's the fourth spawner. He spawns right in front of me. Like, okay. Nice. I was hoping this guy would spawn PD so I could try to like play for my respawner. Like I'm kind of playing for it. But unfortunately, he spawns like right fucking in front of me. Pour it up to three for three. <sighs> but <laughs> That's funny. because of that, you know, it's, it's weird. I, I was kind of just mainly playing for information. And then all my all my teammates died. So this is like just. A really, really weird fight. Like, what, what, what game is there for me to play? Ball dropped. Like here. I said before, like, what, what, what do you guys do here? Let's go, Mr. Powerline. Let's see what you got. What do you do here? You're a little higher onyx than some of the other guys. You played in some crazy games. What do I do right here? Yeah. You just spawned up, right? Yep. Uh, I just spawned up. My team I is right now kind of a 3v3 for my teammates. Uh, right here, I'll probably like, try to create space or try to get to a teammate as soon as you can. What space would you create? Uh, and like, I would probably just go purple and then watch like bottom mid to see, see if they're pushing you there. But You go purple, watch bottom watch, mid. watch like palms and stuff or mid, like B-rails and yeah. Try to get like a... That's not a bad if they're at B rail, if they're B rails, you can look at them. If they're at palms, you can see. If they're at IV, you can see. You know, you can call out for teammates. Just try to get information. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not a bad bug. 
Yeah, especially if you're split spawn. I mean, not split, but you're split from your team. So that means that they're on both sides of you, probably. You're not. And I would really always make sure to, to tell your teammates like where you spawn to, to be like, if you're like, I spawn back half, so it kind of gives them an idea where the yeah. enemy's gonna come at come at you. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, if I spawn cafe, then you know they know that the enemy's not gonna be here spawning yeah. cafe. And it gives us a general idea, like if we have that ability, like in these fights, to like. If, for an example, if I was Ethan, I'll like, I'm like mainly, okay. okay. We're here, we're kind of like fighting these guys, right? Like he's sitting here, it's like, okay, where, where, where is everybody spawning type of, type of stuff? Mm -hmm. Or like, where are we going to be spawning them? How am I going to go back to that exact situation? <laughs> oh my god. Very good. I die already? So bad. There you go. Enemy has the ball. Enemy. Enemy. Ball. All right. So I go. This isn't the greatest play. There's definitely probably a better play here than you know. I spawn cafe and I kind of just. Play out mainly because I'm playing for a respawner. I know that I spawned up before their respawner, so I'm trying to play for it. But instead, what would have been a better play, what uh, what Powerline said is like, I could have went down P Street. Like I could have gotten into the fight immediately, which is something I should have done. Something a play uh, a play that I could have done is like, I spawn Cafe. Like looking back at this situation, like especially now, is kind of weird. I'm the fourth spawner. My team is are fighting. I need to be in that fight fucking immediately. Like I should just fucking G slide out, jump, fucking just start shooting my gun, play for C. Like <laughs> okay. especially if I see this guy or see this guy, B stairs. Like I'm the fourth spawner. My teammates are fighting. I need to fight now. But instead, I kind of make a selfish play here. Like I'm, I'm playing for a respawner. I'm playing for a one. I'm playing for a little piv. And then I got caught off guard. I'm like, all right, fuck that piv. I'm gonna go help. Oh wait. I, I I was selfish here, I fucked up, and now my teammates are dead. They lost they lost the three v three. What could have been a four v three if I got there sooner? Got it, got it. Yep, that's true. Makes a big and difference. Yep. Now you're yep. alone. And now because of that, I tried fighting so late. I got into the fight so late. Now I put myself in this this. In hell, like this guy be serious. A guy Mando, like a, a guy just like a guy done shooting me once. Like, wh where the fuck is the fourth spawner gonna fucking spawn? He's gonna spawn back A. Is he gonna spawn C? Like, I don't, I don't know. Never mind. He's supposed to fucking wait. Fuck you, these. We not get a kill at all. Oh, we didn't even get a trade. Yeah, this is this situation is just fucking bad. Like, like I literally look like I'm in hell. <laughs> Mando, driveway, B stairs, and the guy just see me fucking oh my God. east side. Yeah, you're fucked. I mean, if you survive, it's like, it's like, great, what, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, what do I do here? Like, if you're if you're in a fucked up like situation, a fucked up predicament, like the only thing that you really can do is like try to play for a one v one, try to try to get a trade. Like, you you get a trade, like that fucked up predicament is like it's it's, it's okay. Like it's great actually. Luckily, like I get a guy Mando one shot. I joke the fuck out of Trippy. Like, I, and then I'm like, okay. Like, no, I die, which isn't great, the great, but I got my trade. I got my trade and I got a little bit of damage. Like, it is not that bad for what, how much I fucked up. You, you took what you could get, right, basically? Yeah, but I, yeah. I can get, like. Spawn B, kind of just digging around, just ball running. Dropped. Enemy has the ball. Trying to get to my teammates, we're fighting. We don't want to force anything too quick. Huss is dead, like Ethan just got done spawning. Like, Ethan's gonna be in a 1v1 now. It's just me and Ryan. We're, we're, we're at a 2v2, we're just gonna stack up, we're just gonna fight together. There's not really much of a game here. There's no game plan, it's just teamwork. We're gonna fight this guy. And sometimes we just have moments like this. There's not really much to do. <laughs> It's like maybe we could have ran inside C or maybe, you know, we could have poked C and rotate B and, 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 you know, get a trade or, you know, try to play it out. But he has shotgun and it's really, it's a, it's a really hard game to play when you're like situations like the these. Ball. Excuse me. 
Yeah, there's a roof. Ball drop. Enemy. Ball drop. Enemy has the ball. Now we're just fine. Ball drop. Active camo inbound. What do I do here? What what's the what's the plan here? Survive. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but seriously, like there's gonna be a lot of situations like when 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 you're playing matchmaking or tournament play where you know you lost a fight and now you're you know you're down on numbers and you're getting pushed. Like what's the play? Please. I just want to see how you got to where you were. I missed it. I looked away for a second. I got here. Ball drop. Enemy has the ball. Enemy. Spawn, I spawn PD. Okay. Uh, ball we're drop. fighting. All right, Enemy wait. Going past this. This is. This isn't even really bad. He just has a shotgun. Enemy has the ball. All right. Spawn PD. Husk gets to kill. I told my teammates are C. So I'm playing to put damage down just to pinch these guys. I want to pinch them. I want to pinch them as fast as possible. I want to be aggressive as fuck. I get some good damage on formal. I kill formal. I'm playing inside B. I get B one shot kind of instant him. He gets away. I'm not going to chase this kill. I don't care if he goes PD because then I could just try to spawn trap them PD or try to, you know, spawn them A. Right, some people would just, just really thirst that. Yeah. Like, said maybe i could have traded if it wasn't the greatest play <laughs> or it could have chased um because i didn't chase i'll let him alive let him let him go now he's alive he regrouped with his teammates and now there's gonna be multiple guys b-side so right. now i'm in this fucked up predicament of red room i'm red room and we just got done losing two of our soldiers <laughs> so now it's just me and my, my teammate coming up and now i'm gonna be in a 3v2 right. what do i, I do in red room here Try to go back C. Yeah, I, I can try to get away. I can try to go C, or I can try to make it okay and you know get a trade, get a trade or get two or try to play this to the best of my mechanical ability and see what I can fuck with. All right, let's see what you do. So me. Possible take precedent. Yeah. So like me in this situation, I I knew heading into this situation like I, I was probably gonna get fucked up <laughs> luckily i'm a little bit of a, of, a, of a scavenger and this is what halo is like at this type of level is kind of like all about like scavenge like repulse thruster fucking plasma pistol sticky grenades even sticky grenades sticky grenades are one of the most under um valued things they just get thrown off so easily and sticky grenades can guarantee a trade almost every time it's like it's crazy it's crazy like sticky grenades are literally so overpowered in this game i'm in this 2v like in 2v three in my head i'm about to fight this like a fucking 3v1 but in this in this position i feel really fucking confident because i know the equipment that i have so i'm just gonna walk out my teammate gets this guy one shot so this is just really good work by us i get this kill i'm pretty sure my teammate dies yeah my teammate dies so i get this kill i just play for a trade get this guy now this like fucked up predicament that we were in like honestly just looks really okay now my only, I'm like a little bit confused though. Where the hell did that third guy go? Like the rest of us would have to retreat. C. <laughs> um, yeah, you could like kind of, kind of play for C, uh. Like that whole state, like you repulsed the sticky off the wall and it hit him and it landed on him. That was ridiculous. Uh, I just repulsed it on him. Pretty sure. Yeah, like here, here's the thing, like OG, we gotta remember that that. I wouldn't say that that's like really hard to do. You just gotta practice doing it. To be quite frank, like for example, like throwing that stick in, just repulsing into that wall. Well, the only reason he's able to like for sure get that was because he grabbed the repulse, and that's kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier. A lot of people at a lower level don't don't grab the equipment and don't practice with it, which is a big deal. And that that play happens because of that. That's what he did. Was that's what he threw the sticky grenade. The repulsed the repulse repulsed his own sticky grenade off the wall, and then it ricocheted and hit him. I thought that's what I saw. No, I think it just stuck him, right? Usually. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I literally just stuck him. I, I just threw it at him, repulsed him, so I didn't get any take any damage because I was waiting. For, I was I was willing to fight a one v three. I was for sure. I was fighting 
uh, uh, 2v3, 1v3, like, I, I was I was ready to brawl the fuck out and die trying. I was ready for it. Uh, luckily, I think one of them left them, which was, like, weird. I don't know. They probably expected to win that fight, knowing that you were locked up. Okay, in, well, there's, there, there's three of them. Oh, four, four more just cuts the map. Leaves me in the 1v2, and I just. Active camo available. Yeah. And I just get two. Enemy has the ball. I get a wave. This is that ball. Gave the lead. I do all that, and then I just throw. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. The ball. Luckily, they didn't collapse on me too quickly. Enemy has the ball. All right. What 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 do you do here? Usually in a setup on streets, oddball. They're very very common predicament. Like your your PD. Um. Maybe you're the first spawner, first or second spawner, and you know they have kind of B B side control and P side control. Maybe they're poking and rotating and. They, but they have balls to see. Like, what, what, what do you guys, what do you guys do? What do you guys play for? We got any takers? Let's see who's, who's, uh, who's our lucky taker here. A rushing Spartan. You like to rush, so let's bring you up here. What's going on? So, you spawn PD. You know you have a teammate that spawned back C or back A. You know, there's probably one. There's probably one purple because you spawned away from them. There could also be one. The I'd probably just link up with teammate and push out purple. That's try cool. to I try try to take out the one guy and then collapse off from that advantage. What was really good is that you recognized that I spawned PD away from my back A guy, and from that you know that there's a guy purple. Is that the way you figured out? Or yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, no, that's that's really good. That's really good. It's one thing to recognize it, you know, in film. It's, it's another thing to recognize it, like, in-game. Like, oh, I spawned PD, but my teammate's back. Hey, why didn't I just spawn back on my teammate? Wait, there might be a guy purple. Right. Lost so we do exactly team. what you said. We play for this, you know, play for this guy. I take I take the left, Ryan's just taking the right. God, lay that poor guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, he just gets oh. fucked. Yeah. And because we get this pick and it's kind of free, we could just run. We just run. Like we didn't take much damage. Like we're just trying to go oh, in as run. fast as possible. As possible, we don't want to waste time. Oh. Oh. What's up, guys? So this is a. Ball drop. We're getting into the fight. Ryan gets in that fight really fucking early, which is like bad but not it's not terrible like we're, we're we're eventually getting there so we're gonna clean up on some damage so but unfortunately for that so like now we're in a in a in a in a, in a 2v2 like this is this entire fight here this 2v2 fight this is all individual skill like from me and Hus, like we set up we set up the fight really good this is like how the fight is, is gonna get played i have shotgun so we get away with that kill i'm one shot i have to milk as well as, as possible i just milk and because I milked for so long, my teammate gets to clean up that kill. Nice. Yeah, just playing your life right there instead of just like bull rushing him or something. Yeah, instead of just like getting this kill, I understand I'm most likely going to die here. I don't care if I die here as long as my teammate kills him. And me just running at this guy isn't going to kill him. I, I know I'm going to die. But... I want to milk as long as fucking possible because my teammate, you know, he's kind of weak. I don't want him heading into this fight like full, full, like full. Like this guy heading into the fight with my teammate full. So I'm trying to give my teammate the best ability to clean up this guy, whether I put damage down on them or not. So I just play this like, I just play it good. I play the, I, like, I think that I play this like really good. And I got a shot on him, which is like ridiculous. So yeah. now we, like, we won this fight kind of because of that. Yeah, and imagine if he missed the headshot, like, that'd be fucking... Yeah, imagine if I sit alive, like, I get to just, I, I would just be running forward and making sure that I spawn them cafe. Like, I, I, now it's just like, 
now we have uh, a site of like, okay, and we know that we're responding to them cafe. Like all I have to do is really jiggle peek, make sure that I don't, you know, get average plants or something. Happens very often. <laughs> right. But we have the ball. They're just playing ball on the middle map. Not really the, the time to do that, but actually never mind. They, I don't know how even the dirt. I wonder if I sh Ball. I could have gotten that kill with Luki. Ball drop. I don't know, because they're This is like kinda bad. Oh, it's not horrendous though. As long as I like yeah, okay. So I'll just go up right away. If I if I stood there trying to like fight, that was terrible. But wait for my spawners, my spawner spawn back eight. I wanna regroup with my spawner and play out of the side. We I regroup. Now we're playing out P together. Now we get our free kill. Not really that free because you know, I'm one shot, but even if I'm one shot, I don't give a fuck. Like I've I've I know I've three of my teammates, we're we're running. If they're running, I'm running. I'm fucking ape. So, kind of get my shield up a little bit. <laughs> Not really get my shield up, ape. But now I'm fighting. Like, I get in the fight just in time. How my teammates, like, we won this fight. This was, like, really good out of us. This is, like, kind of how you want to fight things. Like, especially for how it looked. Like, we lost this. All right. This battle's lost. Why, why is it lost? Why is this battle lost? Why is this battle already lost? Yep. Well, look at how many people were like, dead. This guy's weak, two. but you know. Yeah, two of your guys are dead. I don't know if three of them are dead. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. It's only me. It's only me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Even if you try to really thirst this guy, I mean, do you, uh, Yeah, even if yeah. I get this kill, like, it's kind of good, but, you know, it's not really the greatest. Why get this kill when I could just set up the next play? Instead of getting, like, getting this kill, kind of set up the next play, wait for my teammates. Like, they, they spawn. Like, I don't leak. I could have linked up with B guy with with Ethan and try to play out um driveway or something, or which I do do. I see that my teammate spawns back A. I'm like, okay, my teammate spawned back A. But we're just gonna clear up P sides together. As long it doesn't really matter too much about what you do as long as you're doing it with the teammate. Like we're clearing out a side together. Like as long as Ryan's kind of not clearing it out by himself. But if he he can, like if he does, he should play as cautiously as possible. But luckily, like, we kind of do a 2-2 two -two split, which isn't really, like, the greatest, but it can work during certain moments, like, if you have the timing to, which we have the timing to, we kind of get this, uh, you know, the timing, and, you know, we get this kill, which is really, really free for us. Like, we get that kill, and then we get to, because we got that kill, and it took, like, little to no space on the map, like, that's just, like, kind of poor play by them. They took no space, and now we get to, like, just reverse it on them. This, like... Them taking little to no space, their only space taker was, you know, the guy who was ATM. Like, we get to just put it right back on them. And now we're just collapsed. Now we're here. Oh, wait. This was, this was nasty, actually. Like, this was, like, so bad. I remember doing this in the game. I was like, holy shit, I pissed on that guy. I was, like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get ball. Wait, okay, never mind, I'm fucked. I was like, oh, I was about to make a. Wait, alright, I'm shitting on him. I'm shitting on him. Oh my god. Oh, no. Keep a tight grip on that spot. <laughs> That's so bad. And I, then I just died. My teammate teenated me, bro. I would've got, a, I could've, would've got away. I would've got away. Get ball. I see my teammates die, be real. My teammate, Huss, Huss, he just throws a <laughs> fucking grenade in my fucking face. Yeah. He just, he just fucking molly walked me. Disclaimer, teammates, kill everybody at every level. I would have got it, like, not really got away, I guess, because now we're just fucked. But like, holy shit, like I thought that shit was. Like, That's my whole role. Team. Just teammating. Yeah. So waves. We have the ball. Come on. Ball drop. Choosing spot. Alright. Spawn driveway. Eh. 
This isn't like... I'm just playing it for space at this point, but I'm playing it... You see, like, the way I'm playing this. Right? Like, I spawn... I spawn bottom C, and because I know that, like, I'm really early on my push-up, I'm gonna take, like, the closest and tightest route as possible, which is Red Room. Like, I'm, 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 you know, trying to close a little bit of space. Like, I, I want to make sure that I have, like, kind of, like, an escape route, or not an escape route, but, like, you know, just I'm just playing it really tight, really tight, and, like, really tight towards the wall. Like, I'm not out in the open because I'm not with my teammates, so I don't want to really play out towards the open. I know I'm by myself, so I'm, you know, taking the outskirts. Enemy has the ball. Like, okay, my teammate gets damage, and I, I'm just playing for, for call-outs. I'm just playing for damage. I'm like, oh. Like, if I could have stood alive here, this would have been great, but honestly, this was just, like, really good play by Dead Zone. Like, look at him. He, he knows he's gonna die here, and I just challenge. Well, I didn't really challenge him. He just threw a grenade, but that was a good play by Dead Zone. Yeah, nice. We have the ball. But luckily, we kind of won the situation. We got a, we got a, we got a two, two v one. You know, I try, I died. We got two. Ball dropped. We lost possession. We have. Yeah. I'm just trying to help my teammate <laughs> right now. Let me just shoot my gun. Yeah, in this case, that battle like you said before, it, that's over. <laughs> I guess as soon as yeah. you see that, like he's bottom B stairs. He's B stairs, like done. he's like he's yeah. like yeah, he's like kind of chalked. I'm like, all right, I'm for like, I back up like the moment I kind of I think I've seen him die in this one. I backed up. I see him B stairs. I'm like, all right, Ethan, I'll help you. I'll help you, Ethan. My gun, my gun. I see that he dies. Like, all right, all right I'm getting pissed. Whoa, oh, oh, I'm getting pissed on. Never mind. Come back the fuck up. Hopefully we just play out peace tree, kind of wait for my teammate, either that or if my teammate's got enough damage B side, I'll just ape. Or maybe if I feel like, this is like kind of the, one of those gut feelings in game timing, so where like you learn when to push things like this, like we don't really have an advantage here. If anything, like we're at a disadvantage, like our teammates coming up, you know, in four or five seconds. Uh, and most of the time people won't push this. Um, but. This is kind of one of those uh, situations where you play a lot of matchmaking or you play a lot of aids and like you kind of get a gut feeling for your timings and like this is like one of those gut feelings where it's like I know my teammates are B-side, I want to fight as quick as possible, I'm going to ape. Like it could be, end up horrendous, it could end up good. Um, unfortunately for me, it didn't end up the greatest. <laughs> That's funny. But this is where mechanical skill kind of like gives me a little bit of an edge is like, you know, I... Joke the living fuck out of this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> and I, do, I got a tree, which is like, this should never fucking happen. <laughs> this oh should never fucking god. happen. Like, like, I get a trade out of that situation, which is like, man. You don't get that kill too, that's huge. That's a fucking yeah, huge Yeah, and we get that kill, and like, everything just oh gets fucked. God, Everything's just fucked from that. Alright, we're not gonna talk about that. But like, <laughs> that's close. Yeah, like, we. Wrong. It gave us a little bit of a fighting chance. Right, right, right. Like, like, if that guy's not sitting there... Yo, got that. It was like such a weird... Yeah, it was like such a... He's like hiding in a corner right there, and it, I thought that was so weird. I was thinking he's like top nest shooting B-rail, which is like super common. Like, every, yeah. almost, like a lot of people do it, but luckily... Like... It's, it's Penguin, or Dead Zone. You know, he knows how to play the game really good. Yeah, he probably knows how certain people play. He kind of plays off of that idea, like, okay, maybe in this case, he might fly. Yeah, nah, I don't really think that's the case. It's more or less like, there's no point in him shooting his gun across the map when, you know, they're about to win. Right, right. He got 10 right. seconds, he just Makes wants sense. to play tight, contain, like, Makes sense. just look over ball guy. He, he played it really well. Okay, I think we have a question. Somebody, What's up? Sure. Let's see, was it from Kaimo? Kaimo, did you have a question earlier? I don't know if you uh, had asked. Yeah, I didn't. It, it had to do when you were meeting up with your teammate on purple. So I was wondering, because I know you said that you wanted to go meet up with him to push purple to yeah. like get them in C. So what happens if your teammate dies when you're on the way to push? What do you do then? Uh, they'll, I'll usually just either rotate or... That's crazy, usually, my bad. Yeah, it's either... Um, a rotation isn't for call. Like I'll just rotate B side because I'll probably have a teammate already like B area, 
or yeah. if we do decide to continue with that push, which is kind of very rare, like if your teammate gets picked off is fucking horrendous. The play's almost already chalked, especially like yeah. if he got picked off really early in it. Um, it's either I'm rotating or I'm trying to play for his pickup. Like, hopefully he died getting somebody one shot if he's just going to die. Unless he just got fucking right. fucked right off the start. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he just got lasered. Then it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. there's not really much to play off. But if he did get somebody one shot, I'll try to play for that cleanup. And if I do get that cleanup, I'll still continue on with the push. But I will play it a little bit more cautiously. Like, hopefully okay. trying to time it with my team. So, like, my team... I, uh, you know, most of the time, like if you're making this play, like you're pushing out P side and you have guys B, like my teammates are playing out B, I'm trying to time my fight. I'm trying to time my G side exactly with them. So like the moment they're fighting, I'm going to G side down uh, purple, like the moment that they're shooting their guns and I'm going to like try to just enter that fight as quick as possible. Okay. So if you, if you were to try to wrap back around to get, to try to meet back up with them, would you go all the way back through like A or would you cut through mid? Like how would I would work? like me back with my teammates um B side or B purple? Side. Yeah, okay, so most of the time I'll just wrap back through uh I I literally just cut them out through like the, the mid. Like I'll either do it from I can't like I can't even go forward. I'm in mud. What the hell? He's in mud now. I think you get the left thumbstick. You... Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm holding I'm holding down on look, look, look. It's like the like, well, yeah, it's the theatrical version. Oh yeah, Clutch. I had a, I had a answer, not a question earlier. My phone died on me. My bad. Oh, got you, got you. I was on my phone. All good. You no, can, I, you can the answer it. was the same thing he did though. Like I was gonna say, I would do this, but he actually did the same thing and he and he died go. doing that. So it was kind of like, but it was so a like, hit or you, miss. You could, you could, could kind of like, you know, if I'm purple side, you can kind of take this ATM route. If like you want to go as quick as possible, or you know the safer right. route where you could go on top of the A gen and just G slide down and hit up B side. Hmm. Oh, okay. Which is usually kind of the most common route. Like I'm I'm shoddy. I'm just running down. I hit the I go on the A, the a gen and then, or shoddy gen and then I just fucking G slide the tire gen, tire gen, and then I run out run out B side. Yeah. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, Chad, thanks for uh, keeping it in there. You can reset that if you need to. Um, if you like that. Yeah, I think I need a reset. And that it goes into the thing I want to say is, like, guys, we also started a uh, Patreon and stuff like that, too. So um, I'll link that in the both the chat on the side and here. You'll see it. Uh, for memberships as well it's kind of the same thing as the discord memberships and y'all can do that as well y'all can do both um, not not limiting y'all to that obviously and all of that goes to lessons like uh, this one with descendant you know, and uh, other people like warlord every wednesday we hope to have descendant every week as well i know he's a head coach but at the same time it's uh it's kind of hard when you know you're uh, literally a top 16 <laughs> so to get uh, a for sure schedule um so in, in that respect, though, all, all the monetary value from the next month goes into the description, goes directly back into these lessons. So, the more the merrier. Um, thank you again for everybody that does that. I'm linking it in the Twitch as well. Uh, again, Monday, Wednesday, and uh, well, not Monday. We're going to aim for Monday with Descendant, but Wednesday for sure, as well as uh, the uh, Thursday, we have the OGHL, which I would like you to try it out one time, Jason. Um, it's the basically OG Halo League that we created. Uh, like oh 20, 20 people do old school Halo, like the pit, walking around, like, yeah, 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 walking, <laughs> battle yeah. rifle, yeah. Oh, well, we did the. Oh, we where's my clamber? Where's my clamber? Yeah, yeah. You're like choking on right. You're, you're uh. like you're a Spartan, bro. Can you clamber a fucking wall? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. like how am I? How am I? Uh, Four thousand years in the future, and I can't fucking grab something. I can't clamber. <laughs> how, how are you, Spartan? That doesn't make sense. But yeah, there you go. So that's we're getting back to it. But uh, that's the Patreon. I put it on the side for everybody, and in the. Uh, the uh what's it called in the stream so uh, thank you everyone that already does that noxious for example thank you um as well as uh, og invasion and uh i believe mr turtle as well thank you so much so go ahead yes, sir. thank you no problem thank you thank you all righty so this is uh part of the second round so after this round not really much to do sort of the game 
Reset, reset, reset. You're good. They've come back from work. That will come in handy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was it? <laughs> oh shit. Reset, restart it? No, 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 no. I, 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 just, I just heard something. I thought, oh. Yeah, pick something heavy up and I'm like, what the fuck you, the fuck you moaning like that? <laughs> oh, shit. It was... All I heard was in the background. Yeah, my bad. Oh, shit. Oh, you good, you good, you good. But uh, at the start of the game, like, like, we, we kind of just like go for balls sometimes. Jack, appreciate the follow. All right, we're down numbers, so I'm gonna play a close quarters uh, combat type of game, CQB. I get a free kill. Fucking in the smoke, see this guy? I'm like, alrighty, I'm probably gonna get fucked here. I see a guy, like, look, look at this predicament I'm in, bro. The plants, oh, PD, oh FA. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm playing for a trade. I know I'm gonna fucking die. There's no getting out of this. I'm gonna die. If you know you're about to die, like the best thing you can do is either you know, get a trade or uh, kind of just like uh, either get a trade or maybe you could try to get over with your life, but I would just recommend getting a trade. It's kind of like the guaranteed. I have shotgun, so luckily I get to just get a trade, which makes it kind of all, all okay. And right off my respawn, we're, we're all dead again and cam was up. So this is really like party game to play. Luckily, try to get the trade. And I just choke. I get two guys one shot. So, just like, so far, there's not really much of a game to play. Like, this is just like dickery. You're just dicking around. This is me just dicking around. My teammates are dead. I shouldn't even like really be playing for this guy, but he's a one shot, so it's like I'm trying to do something. I guess I just choke here. This guy's just, he just plays, he literally just plays it perfect. Wow, look at that. Dead zone. Yeah, he literally, he literally just, yeah, yeah, obviously. There you go, guys. Enemy has Hold that ball. pillar if you have to. Ball dropped. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again, man. Off my respawn. Ball dropped. Two, two shots. Make sure we call this guy out PD. Ball Get the skill. I got a kill. I feel pretty. Hey, I just do that. Get this kill because we get this kill and i know my teammates are fighting now i want to fight it doesn't matter if i really kind of die it's more or less just fighting with the team uh we're kind of fighting like different things though like we're not really fighting the ball is we're kind of just like looking out which is just bad for all of us we're all like not really taking the greatest breaks here i get to hopefully my teammates play out together fortunately ethan kind of gets averaged here he just wouldn't say across the map, but that's kind of like a little too far for the situation. Got it, got it. Double got it. So, I don't, we, we, we literally, right now, like, we're literally just fucking up mechanically. Or, not mechanically, but like, Enemy fundamentally. Like, we shouldn't really be taking the fights that we're taking and we're losing them. Got you, got you. So, it's making the game a lot more harder and not really much to play. Enemy has the ball. Now, just me, me and Ron against the world, we're just running. Running and gunning. Ball dropped. We have the ball. Outstanding. Get this kill. My teammates are dead. I know my teammates are dead, but I. This is like I, I should play tight. Fundament like fundamental wise. I should play tight. I should play with my teammate, who's top C. I should be close to him and try to like fight against the world. Unfortunately, um, you know. I'm a little bit on sore end, so I try finding the world by myself. Luckily, I get one. Get, get another one shot. It works out, but it's not the play that I would recommend. It's not like there is no right or wrong play, but this isn't the, the, the greatest play. Luckily, I literally just get away with it. Most of the time, though, you would probably never get away with this shit. Like, I'll probably get lasered like nine out of ten times. Like most, like you would in this situation, like you're getting collapsed on. You have two guys, like, uh, you know, driveway and be. Why is it doing that? So, the, the mud. Yeah, why is it doing this? 
Three four three. They fixed the uh, matchmaking, but they broke uh, theater. Ah, this was like twenty two. Wonder if I can do it on. Okay. It might be your sticks. I don't know if you're um. I literally you're just got. The, I thought stick. it was. I thought it was my sticks, and I literally switched my controller because of this, and it didn't do anything. Well, there's like a precision mode, and then there's mode when you press sticks. So I don't know if you're. Uh -huh. That begs the question: Which controllers do you use, and which ones do you recommend for some people? That maybe uh, for longevity reasons, maybe not. Maybe um, how it feels. What do you think? What, which one? Well, I use personally. I use Battle Beaver. Gotcha, um, gotcha. I don't. I really liked the Scuff. I thought Scuff was really good. Battle Beaver is personally just my favorite at the moment. Um, their thumbsticks are just like really smooth, like for aiming. Gotcha. Um, outside of that, though, like, there's, there's honestly a lot of really good controllers. Like, I thought the Victorious Gambit was amazing, but it felt terrible. Like, it's very poor quality. Um, the paddles aren't the greatest. But I guess, like, it it is the fastest react, like, input delay and shit. Like, it, it has little to, like, no input delay whatsoever. So like if you're competing, you're playing on the in the, in the open bracket. You're playing on Xbox. You're gonna you're about to go through hell. So I would probably recommend that. <laughs> Input delay on the Xboxes are absolutely horrendous. I don't know how anybody could do it. There you go. You got some tips right there. Pro tips. Ball dropped. <laughs> we have the ball. Ball dropped. We have the ball. All right, what do I do? Situation, right, guys. Professor, professor, he's our in-house professor. It is a four v one. We just got done killing two, two of them. Uh, one of them are going to be spawning in probably two or three seconds. What is my goal? I'm the fourth spawner. Let's see, professor, black halo god. Let's get BHG in here, Mister BHG. I don't know, Joe? If you should, Joe. I don't know if you should answer the question. Bro, I'm pretty sure he's high as yeah. fuck right now. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. Th Joe's Jason, high thank as you, thank, thank right you for telling him that, bro. Oh, bro, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. not <laughs> responding, dude. I don't fucking know right now. Oh, dude, I'm, I would have out the new laser. spawners. Yeah, what? Dude, I'm high as hell. <laughs> I would look for the new spawners and clear them out I'll, before right, I get to the ball. New spawners? Yeah, I'll I'll stay middle and look around for the new, for anybody camping or or like spawning out. Before it's, I even uh, go to the ball, because I'm too far away from ball anyway, so why go all the way over there? Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, a good idea. Hey, um, uh, what's up? What about like going uh, cafe and trying to force uh, one of the enemy players in like PD and then pinching on him? Yeah, that's a that's a good idea too. But so, what's wrong with the first uh, play? That. I guess of like going bottom mid is you want to avoid the middle of the map when they haven't spawned yet because if you go to the, to the middle of the map like you don't really have a general sense of like where they're going to spawn like i go to the middle of the map here right he could spawn pd he could spawn back a he could spawn cafe he could spawn bottom like near bottom p kind of like there's really weird spawns like that or like if my teammate leaves b side then like i don't know if they're spawning red room or b or pd back a cafe right so like what you want to do when you're the fourth spawner and they're already kind of dead you want to focus on like where are we spawning them? Where do I want? Where do I want them to spawn? Where do I know that my teammate teammates know that they're going to spawn? So like it's either I can you know hold PD because like this is already kind of like a good shape on the map. We kind of have an L shape form here. Like just from this alone, like we already know that they're going to spawn in cafe. Like like my teammates blocking red room and B. I'm blocking PD kind of like the back A type of area, and my teammates top C and bottom C. So our idea here. Because we're not fighting, if I was the fourth spawner and we're fighting, I'm fighting immediately. But we already won the fight before I came off spawn. So, like, I, I come off spawn, the fight's already won. I'm playing for respawners. Respawners in the sense of I'm setting up the play for the, the, the next play. Like, where are we going to spawn them? We want them to spawn cafe. So, it's either I'm going to play out the mid and slowly, like, go out towards the outskirts. Or I just do this. <laughs> what am I thinking? All right, this we, is kind of wait. This, oh yeah, this is another play for that second question that you had. 
how you you know clean clean up that one guy and you play out cafe so you can spawn them uh pd this is that's exactly what i do i play out cafe i spawn the pd i'm playing for the last guy alive we, we get this last guy alive i know that i am going to be on an island two of my teammates are b-side i have a teammate top c i will be by myself so the way i play this is look i'm i was kind of like crouching in the corner i'm playing this really slow how i fight this so we get this guy we get this guy my teammates are going to poke there they're not they're going to rotate they're rotating b side we get this kill now i know i'm by myself i see this guy and i'm like okay there's a guy p street my teammates will not help me here i can try to fight this and win that fight gain that space on the map and force them pd again or i can try to help my teammates b side try to guarantee that side um it's just kind of like options that i have um most of the time you want to you know play with your teammates b side me, I feel pretty confident in myself that I can, you know, win this 1v1 and gain this space on the map. So I play as, 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 as slow as possible, hoping that I can get some fucking godly timing on this guy, which I do. I get some godly timing on this guy. Fucking hop down on him like a damn ninja turtle. Hop on his back. <laughs> fuck him. Now he's dead. Now I got my P side. I can rotate back or I can play out for space. I play out for space. Because I got this free kill. I can do whatever the fuck I want on the map. I, 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 I go P Street and this guy, he goes chow me to the death. I will gladly die. I will go to Valhalla. I'll die a warrior. I'll, I don't care. Fortunately, I don't. This is terrible. This is terrible out of me. This is, this is, this is terrible out of me. Just an update. That was the wrong Just player. an update. I did not do that. This was terrible. I should, I should fight Cafe. Like, I, should, I, should, I get this guy one shot and I should, I should continue the fight. Finish, finish the fight like fucking Master Chief. Instead, I let him regain his shields. It's like it's not a terrible play of me letting him regain the shields. He backed the fuck up already. We're getting ball, we're getting ball time. There's not really much, you know, else to it. It's not terrible, but I would rather me try to finish that fight. Get this guy weak. I do my damage. I poke. I lost my timing because I played out the middle of the map. I lose my timing for P side, which is kind of okay. Because I'm already aware that they're either going to be playing out B side or P side. So I want to either, you know, set up a fight, a close quarter combat battle, because, you know, I have shotgun. Or I want to try to help my teammates rotate B side, try to clear out B side. Then we could all rotate as a team back to P side and just try to, like, just fuck them. Yeah, get this guy weak. Good. I get a one shot. I rotate to my B guys. We, we're going to clean up this kill. We clean up this kill. Now we can either try to, you know, I can either flank around, go through, you know, the middle of the map, or I can just go be real with my teammates. With my teammates. All right. He, he's one shot, so I guess he's just taking the outskirts. We take, we take the, I take the mid. This is kind of fine. I'm, oh, I just, I oh my god. That was huge. Yeah, that was actually huge. That was huge. Shit exploded on this. Yeah, just fucking G slap. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, luckily it worked. That it, was luckily a, it worked out. Although that was a distraction too for Ball. He keeps. He's still holding Ball over there. He's still. He's still holding Ball this entire time. Like, yeah. I said. I said before. Like, there's. You know, there's so many ways I can play this game. There's so many ways I can play situations, right? As long as, like, in my head, as long as I have a foundation, like, and, and always go like a go-to play and always fall back on play if I, you know, ever find myself in situations like these where I don't know how to play the game. It's like, this is like from the start, like I, I get to hop down on this guy like a Ninja Turtle. I get my kill. I got my, I get my kill. We just got done killing two. There's two dead. I know that I want to spawn the PD. I should not fight to death, but I should try to do my darn, my, my dandest to fight, to, to, to fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like right there, he's already, yeah. Right here, right here. I'm trying to, I, like, I should, I should keep, keep going. Even though Sorry, I slow. can't yeah, fucking, yeah. fucking move. I should try to keep going. Keep trying to fight this guy, or maybe, you know, he's, there's, there's probably going to be two of them. That's fine, I have shotgun. Like, I should try to fight this as quick as possible. That's, uh, that's a way I can play it, but I don't want to fight too hard. I don't want to... Fuck up PD spawns. If I fight too hard, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up uh, PD spawns, which is probably the main reason why I don't fight this as hard as you know how I'm speaking about it. How like I probably should, 
Um, I don't mainly because I'm probably afraid in this moment, you know, tournament gameplay. I don't want to be the one to fuck up. I don't want to be the one to give them, you know, these these split spawns. They spawn fucking bottom C. Next thing you know, my my ball guy is getting fucked. I don't want to be the reason. So instead, I just take you know a different a different route, a safer route. I still you know, I just jiggle peek. I get my two shots. My entire goal here is to get to my to my B guys. I know this from the start. Like after I didn't chase that guy, I was like, all right, I'm gonna eventually get to my B guys. Um, I can I have time though to you know just fuck around a little bit, which I do. Luckily, I just to get this guy one shot, and you know this is how we you know we rotated. My teammate traded out. Luckily. I, I got a double kill, which is like huge for the team. This entire time, we're still holding ball. It's just like so much ball time from from all of that. All right, how do I play this? Hold my spawn. All right, I spawn bottom P. I have a teammate top C. Be real and peace for you. What do you guys do? What what is in your head of what you should do when you when you have this like really awkward spawn, so to say? I'll go straight to ball. You go straight to ball. Where's ball that right next to you? You guys see? Yeah, spawn the spawn's back seat. Ball guy is back oh. seat. You have a teammate B real and you're right next to the teammate P side. What do you do? You do? Well, I mean, right off the bat, it just tells you there's people mm -hmm. at PD area. I mean, yeah. What about a? So like that's not only like that, like your B guy's yeah. kind of yeah, shooting, fuck, jiggling. Yeah. He, oh, has, I mean, he, he has he has information. Yep. He has information. Hey. What about going top IV and watching both like uh, uh, the B angle and then the cafe angle from from there? That is a not terrible idea. It's not it's not horrendous. It's definitely something that can work. But the ideal play to do here is because you know you're not fighting on your back foot you're not in a in a battle that you're already losing so because of that you want to be in the fight you want to be you want to be in the fucking gutters you want you want to be in there so you either want to double up with the teammate and and and, and ride or die or you want to you know try to poke rotate get to your teammate no matter what in this situation you want to get to your teammate you want to double up you want to double up and fight something or you you know because we have ball and you know we're Winning by a pretty large margin. It's kind of just, you know, just prod them, prod them, poke, poke a little bit, try to see if they've tried forcing anything. If they try forcing anything, then we're going to fight it. But we're not going to fight it if we don't like it. We're going to write, we're gonna, like, if we don't like it, if it looks bad, we're already getting fucking smoked. Like, we're just not going to take it. Luckily, like, Ryan's doing a lot of damage here. I'm pretty sure Huss is still alive. Yeah, Huss is still alive B side, which is great. Honestly, like this is just like a really bad fight from these guys. Like they're they're shooting across the map and they're not gonna get this kill. They will they will never they would never get this kill. Even if even if it's two of them. Like if 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 the person who's shoddy is like good, you know what I mean? Yeah, like they're not yeah, gonna yeah. chop them to not even not gonna chop them to death. Like they're not gonna get this kill. Luckily, he has you. <laughs> Wait, is Ryan? Okay, I thought Ryan died. I was about to say, like, Ryan, luckily Ryan's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, 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 hold on, maybe he's good. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, if if whoever shot you side is good, they won't. They will never get that kill. Luckily, like, you know, they're playing against me, so you know they get to, you know, maybe get a free pick, or maybe they become the free pick. I get my free pick. No, I just die. Which is like. <sighs> This isn't really good. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like the fact that I'm taking this fight to the death, this is probably just a pure ego thing. I'm like, oh, my my gun is better than yours. I'll fucking take it. I don't give a fuck. So I'm just taking it. I'm just taking it. Luckily I win it. <laughs> luckily I win it. And then yeah, luckily I win it. Ryan just rotates. See, this this is what I was talking about before. This is like the right play that I should have done. Ryan's B side. He's he's poking. He's poking. Or not B side. He you know he's uh he's shooting these guys. He's poking. He's poking. He's one shot. He gets these guys weak and. He can't go forward. If you can't go forward, then just rotate. Just rotate somewhere else. So just go somewhere else. You can't go forward. What's the point of just sitting here? You know you're here. Right, yeah, Why would you just problem. sit here and try to, you know, just fight it out? Like, this is one of those situations where it's like, I don't like how this is going. We just got done getting fucking lasered. Let's just leave it. Which he does. 
Ryan's like, I don't like how this is going. I just got done getting lasered out of my mind. I'm just gonna leave. Fuck you, Jason. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm, and I'm like, I'm like, huh? Ryan? Ryan? I'm dead. Ryan's yeah. already out. Ryan's already out B side. He's already out B side with his with his teammate. <laughs> Hus fights too quickly. If Hus just gives Ryan like two seconds, like he gets to double this guy for free, and that's free ass. That's free ass. He's grabbing him by the fucking ass cheeks. This is free booty. <laughs> Unfortunately, we miss our timing. That just shows you like a whole situation that a lot of people get into that they don't realize that they don't need to fight to the death. They can literally rotate, and the reason he rotates is because he has info that bottom mid, like front C, is not going to be attacked by anybody because Hus is obviously B rails looking down that lane. So he has a free rotate to get his shields back and move to a different part of the map. So like that just changes the whole dynamic of the of that it's not, play. It's not really Hus that's giving him that um like clearance that right, right, for sure. it is open we still have a ball guy we still have a ball guy see who's yeah, yeah, yeah. you know looking in the middle exactly. of the map um not only that like we just got done getting two guys one shot tires luckily i traded out with one and you know because i died he knows that there he knows that there's a guy peace route already too right. with that being said it's like he had a ball guy watching his his, his his mid lane i got done killing one tires got his one shot so he's you know kind of probably he's probably scared to move up on the map Knowing that there's a guy B, so that's what allows him to like kind of just rotate. Even if he didn't know all that, he's probably still gonna fucking rotate. He doesn't give a fuck. Uh, I could, I should probably play the outskirts here, mainly because I am not the fourth spawner. Hus is the fourth spawner, but you know, I guess I just run out, which just terrible. This is just god awful. This is horrendous. This is like, this, this is like so bad. Like we get, we kill one, which is like, I guess kind of okay. The reason why I'm playing in the middle map, but like, I just fight this guy. <laughs> this guy's just like close. Like, this is just bad. This is piss poor. Yeah, you guys went too far out. So you guys left ball alone. All right, now we're just brawling. It's like a, a brawl out moment. There's not really much to the game. Just fight, fight hard, die well. And I die terribly. How do I get in this predicament? It took over C, the whole C. Oh, I just want to know how. All right, we're fighting B guys. Yeah, that makes sense. We have a PD spawner. Ah, uh, we died towards the C. Yeah, we, we, like, this is just, like, individual play. Like, we lost our pivotal engagement C. Because we lose that pivotal engagement, like, they still kind of get C control, and we have to play towards, like, the, the inside of C. And, you know, I'm still dicking around, taking so much time. This guy's a spam calling me out because he's a fucking UAV. <laughs> now there's a guy, you know, just plays for me. I just die. Like, they, they, they play this individually... Really fucking good. They played this better than us. Not only that, we did kind of fight it. Not the greatest, but just regarding that. This is uh, one of those uh, situations where it's like, we can't go forward, <laughs> so we just rotate. Unfortunately, I'm fighting, which is... Unfortunate and not too unfortunate, really. Yeah, this is just like p piss poor fighting out of me. I shot from a guy from C, this guy's one shot, so I'm trying to get this go, this is whatever. Like, because I'm one shot, I see all these nades are coming at us, like I'm in World War II, like I'm trying to... I should take this fight tight. <laughs> this is not tight. Like, look how... Look, like, is this tight? <laughs> Is this tight? Yeah, you're like in the middle of the freaking lane and shit. Yeah, I got yeah. spit on my dead body, I would. Just know that. Yeah, and just by pretty straightforward, tight is like literally holding that wall. Yeah, tight, tight, tight. Like, I play this loose, loose, loose. I play this loose as fuck. Like, tight is just playing this next to the uh, next to the fucking wall, just like staying, staying alive, but like doing damage. Like, like this is tight. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Because like, there's no difference, right? For me playing this tight, being on this wall, just jiggling, and me being right here, like, like, wow, I get this little little lane, but my team is right here. 
I don't I don't need this lane. My teammate has this lane. I should just be right here. Just be a nuisance. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. But instead, like, I am terrible. I'm a terrible player. So I'm out in the fucking middle of the map, middle of the open. Like, hey guys, fuck me. Especially Shoot me. Low shield. Yeah, you're Shoot me. I'm low here. shields. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you guys some free fucking ass. Which I do. Which is just like, it just fucks up, the, you know? Now they get a double kill. Now they're just probably gonna get fucking 40 seconds of ball time here. I just fight to the death. It's rotated on us. It barely got any time out of that, actually. And there's not really much to this we right now. Have the ball. Pretty sure it's like we're gonna win anyways. We're just kind of just running at them. Like we, we caught them on their back end. Like yeah, ball is yeah, exactly yeah. where we wanted to be. Like I feel like you guys could have won that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, we should we should have won like, that a long time ago. Like this round's over. When you guys had it in C, when you guys had ball in C, that's why I said when you spawn. Yeah, no, like that setup. To that protect setup. The ball, man. Yeah, no, that setup was really good. You don't really want to go back to your ball guy like too much. Or like it, it's very, it's very like specific times where you should go back to your ball guy. Like if there's like ten seconds left and you want to play tight as fuck, you want to literally, literally like be right on top of your ball guy or like just near your ball guy. But then you um, got that ball guy who gets mad at you and yells at you like, "Why is everybody so fucking far now? I'm dead now. They got control with they got ball and now they got control of C." Yeah, he which he's like he's like let everyone in. He's like kind of right, but not. Too right, I guess. Like, I mean, I get yelled like, at for that all the time for leaving the ball man for too far away. You, 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 no, you should leave the ball guy. Like, if you're up on numbers, you should leave the ball guy. You should get space on the map. You should, you know, push things out. But there's times where you should know when to, you know, get space and then retract from space. Like, for an example, like this is the most common setup, right? Of 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 ball. Like, you have a you have your ball guy top C, right? And then you're maybe playing out B side, or maybe you're playing out P side. Like, there's only a certain cut of the map that you want to be playing if you have ball so like you have ball c right like if you're the islander you're you're, you're the man on the island you're you're individually yeah, you're you're one yeah you're one man p you're one man p you want to play it tight you want to play it fucking cringe like you're a damn halo through your rat you're like you're <laughs> on the you're yeah, on the, you're yeah. fucking on the floor it's fucking hiding in corners right you're by yourself like why, why would you want to take a fair fight but if you're like two guys b, b side and like maybe you're forming this l shape on the map that's fine. You should you should fucking be away from your B guy, your 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 C guy. Only two of you guys. Like you should ha at least have a guy be real, looking over P, watching his cross. Um. But like you eventually always want to like retract. Like after getting like all this fucking space on the map, right? Like your fucking plants. Like let's say you like they 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 went B side. You won your fight. You got plants, and like now you have a ball guys. Like you just have this long ass fucking L. Like you always want to kind of retract a little bit, like make sure that you don't, you know, push their spawns too much, or like you want to hit this as quick as possible, where you kill two guys and you just rotate down P Street, and then you just do the same thing. You just get all this space, like you just did B side. It's like it, the exact L that we shaped from, you know, this B side and C. How we have this L in the map. Now we have this L, and now we know where they're gonna spawn. We know, you know, that we're just one of them cafe. We're not cafe. Fucking, we're just one of them. Fucking PD. We're, we're, we still have this like L shape on the map, so you still want kind of want a guy like B side, so he's blocking red room. Like you, this is like kind of the, the setup before it. Like you, you want to play away from ball, but you always eventually want to come back to ball if you're losing the fight. If you're losing the fight, then like if the fight's fucked, like you already lost it, then come back to ball. Yeah, but like your ball guy should never really be dying like without his like. I guess, like, at least a warning of somebody's just pushing him. Like, if he's dying without, like, a warning of, like, somebody pushing him, then, like, that's just you, you guys playing it bad as a team. There's no, like, really individual fault there. Got it, got it. Makes sense. Yeah. I was just looking at the time. I was, like, 89 seconds. All they really do is... Yeah, 89 yeah, seconds. Like, we should play for, like, ball. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, that's, like, that's like, it's easier said than done. Because, like, when you're playing against the top teams like that, they know that all you need to do is fucking, you know, go next to the ball, right? So they're going to do everything in their power to, to make sure that you, you're not next to the ball, right? And yeah. when you got 
fucking lucid, formal, dead zone, and, and, and trippy all with that one objective in mind of you just not getting next to ball, like, you know, most of the time you're probably not going to get next to that ball, you know, as quickly or as easily as you would in matchmaking. <laughs> this is terrible. Ball dropped. Enemy has the ball. To anybody that hasn't already um, followed the uh, YouTube, um, I put in it the in the chat on the right as well. Uh, so you can watch this over if you want to watch the VOD later. Um, and also the Twitch as well. You can subscribe and, and comment there and watch that if you're live whenever we have it. You're not able to attend the event. Yeah. So like this, all this is like just so we're into me. <laughs> this is a big problem that I have and something that I will improve on is that I'm topsy and I'm just out in the open. Like it's the same time when I was fucking, fucking shoddy gen, just out in the open. Like I'm fighting and I just love being out in the open, just fucking trying to big dick it. And this is something you just do not want to do. All right, what do we do here? Oh, pop quiz. I have two teammates P side. We just got done getting a kill or two kills. I just spawned. I'm now front A. Cam is coming up in three seconds. Two seconds. What's the plan? <laughs> you die for it again. No, just kidding. <laughs> Correct. No, but I... what should I've done? <laughs> All right. Anybody got one? See who got to, got to any uh, answers to that one? Just camp it, camp, camp the, let them bait it, let them try to go for it and get a kill. I mean, you yeah, know you're no, going to go in the middle and get killed, or maybe, probably. Yeah, no, it's definitely one way to play it. Like, just, just bait the fuck out of it. Like, yeah. and, uh, I need to be the man to die for it. Throw some nades, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Throw some nades, looking over it. I'm not going to die for it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk my life for it. Luckily, I wait for my respawner. My respawner spawns heaven. I'm gonna fight uh, B side with them. So knowing that you know my teammates freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Two Got it. <laughs> this guy weak. All right, I'm gonna die. We get have the ball. Nice. Ball like it's hard. It's hard to. It's not ball like, hard to do stuff like this. But like, this is like uh, if you play the game a lot. And you get to, you know, get to this level of, of, like, mechanics where getting double kills like these oh, don't God. look like a lot, but they mean so much. They're, they, they mean so much. Like, I get this guy, and I get this guy. Yeah, that's like, huge. You can that, that's huge. Now yeah, that's safe. huge. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even, like, more or less like, oh, we go with ball now. It's, it's more or less like, I, it's, a 1v2, it's a 1v2 trade. Or, I guess my teammate died. Or, wait, that's a different team. Oh, it was Huss who's... What the fuck? But, like, let's say if my teammate didn't die, like, now we have, we clear, cleared our B-side, and, like, we have the space, and, you know, the, the entire fight that they were going to have, that entire push of, like, one guy, two two guys B-side, one guy mid, and maybe one guy P-street ready to cut the map inside mid again, it's kind of just fucking diminished. It's gone. Ball drop. Enemy has the ball. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> you guys love this shit? I love this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking oh, shit. We're about, to, we're about to go crazy. We're about to go crazy. <laughs> we're about to go crazy. This damn firing squad. We're all just walking forward together. Literal call out. Alright, you guys, Navy SEALs. Alright, you guys, Navy SEALs. We're literally walking forward together. Three, three men. Watch. Yep, yep, yep. Get our kills. All right. We get, we cut these two guys PD side. I'm fucking out. I'm gone. I'm playing for my space on the we map. Have the ball. Like I get B side. Ball drop. I get another kill. Now, could I should have kept playing B side? Okay. I left B side because my teammate spawned B. My teammate spawned B. Like I can either keep playing out or I want to rotate back to my teammates and you know take up P side. Which is, I'm pretty sure, is what I do. We have the ball. Or just saying so. See, I'm, I'm making my way towards B side. Like I was B side. I left my teammate B to go P. So we know where they're spawning. I don't want this fucking spawn to be open for them. 
at all. I want to know 100% where we're spawning them. Luckily, like, we just got done getting free kills. Because we got free kills, I'm going to push up to top C and, like, you know, try to play for play for respawners or we have just get just get positioning on them. Like this is like this is a really good position, I think. <laughs> if it would have worked, wait. I need to go back. How did this fight go? All right, cool it up, PD. I'm playing out B. We have the ball. Ball dropped. So he's on B. I'm playing back. We have the ball. All right, get that kill. I'm making my way towards P Street. Normal, kind of just res there. Game. All right. We die. E. All right. Ball dropped. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. We so we're not really playing for respawners here. Like in this certain situation, or this is mainly just playing for space because like we got to see here and Hus died, like, the entire idea of us getting C here is, like, giving our teammates uh, an opportunity to, like, make a make a plan or do something off their spawn. Mainly because, like, instead of us sitting cafe or sitting, you know, PD side where we just were, we push out the side, get into C, we're in C together, Now look at all this space that our teammates get to work with. Right, that makes sense. Like, like now they just have all of this that, you know, they know someone's not here. Because we just left it, we just cleared it out. Now we're, we're now we're in C, but unfortunately, because we died B side, now we have to be worried about this. Now we're going to be on the chase, like not ideal for we, sure. We, yeah, yeah it's, it's not ideal, but you got to make do with what you have. Luckily, some push us, so we kind of get a free kill here. Get this kill. All right, I'm out. I got a free kill. I want to fight. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fight with my teammate. Gonna help my team. On my team. All right, I ball. Somebody else grab that shit, please. We have the ball. A literal call out. Somebody else grab that shit, please. I need to go die. That's so bad. Such a terrible teammate. Ball dropped. Like this is this isn't like a terrible death, but it definitely isn't a deal. Like, this isn't a bad death, mainly because we just got done killing two. So, like, in this type of situation, it's kind of okay for us to die. So, like, this is kind of just, like, again, with the, I clear out this space, get C, try to make them spawn in red room and B, because we won the fight. Like, you know, this fight's won. Right? Right, right, Yay? Right. Nay? <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. This, this fight is won. Like, we, we, we won this fight. Because we won this fight, I want to play out for All space, give my teammates opportunities to do anything. Yeah. Like, I unfortunately... I, I just get pissed on whenever you're just throwing nades. If I were to get this kill, which is like kind of the ideal plan, like it's okay. It's uh, this is a pave I'm supposed to take, sp I'm supposed to win it, but you know, right, right. I didn't. But if I do win this piv, if I do get this space on the map, like the way that we want to play the game, like now we have all this space and we know for a fact we are spawning them red room. That is where they're spawning. That is you no know, and ifs or buts. They're gonna play out from red room to fucking uh fucking plants or they're gonna either try to headbutt me which is fine we want them to headbutt me because my team my, my ball guys fucking back a it's fine for them to headbutt me they want to kill me they can kill me but i failed enemy i failed and unfortunately for that you know if i would have won that that's an extra fucking 20 seconds 20 30 seconds now what's the plan here where you at? I have three guys B side. I'm top C. Like, they're really pushed up on the map. This is how kind of optic plays their little audible. They have this guy all the way back A, and they just get as much fucking space as possible. Yeah, that's like a like, big time. Like, like, look at all this fucking space that they have. Like, uh, their yeah, space that's crazy. is from here to here. This is a lot of fucking space, yeah, no? A lot of info. Yeah, they have a lot of info. Yeah, that's a lot. Like that's a lot of fucking space. Stuff, yeah. But the but the problem with 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 the my like my problem with like this type of space that they have is that like if we catch one of them off guard, which you know we usually kind of do, or maybe you know how we literally just triple man push this. It's it's very like kind of weak 
like defense. But they get away with it so often because like they're literally so good individually. So it makes up for it. There's not there's no really like pure like strategy to like how how people play the game, especially at a high level. It's really just individual skill. All of these people are just like so, so good individually, and they have like such a good foundation that like they could do literally just like the basic things and make it look so advanced when it's really not. Like we kind of win this B fight. I play out. We, we now we get this kill and like. All this space that they just had, look how quickly it just plummished. Now it's just gone. Like, they were, like, in my head, for me, like, I think the way that they played this was, like, a little bit too greedy. It looked really good. I just think, like, you gotta pick and choose. Which side do you really want? You want B side or you want B side? You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. So, Lost the like, I think it's okay for Dead Zone to be here if you play, like, No Presence, which he, like, kind of did. So I guess that's like fine. But luckily, like now, now because we got our kills, now we're trying to like do the ape. Now we're just running. We're just going as quick as possible. Yeah, I guess like yeah. this is their idea of the setup. Like now looking at it, like they probably want to play this this far out. Like the reason why they're playing it, if I could go in third person. The reason why they're playing this this far out is mainly because like they're probably expecting to die. Like this is just me. Speaking out of my ass, like, I don't agree with this setup, but I'm not a world champ, so. <laughs> yeah, they could be getting information from this play and then they play off of that. Not even yeah. more of an information thing, because, like, what if they win this, right? If they win this, then, you know, they, they stick with all this fucking space. Right. Which is, is great. Now, if they don't win this, look at where they spawn. They're right next to you. Yep. They, they spawn right next to their ball guy. Like thinking, 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 like back at it. Like this is oh, not a not a terrible setup. It's actually like not that bad. It's probably what went down. I was hoping that like maybe if fuck if we would have pushed it fast enough, if we got gotten PD, we could have given them C spawns. Like if we push PD fast enough, we'll get we'll give them red room spawns. But instead, we, we take a lot of time. We're really slow in our push. Like now we're late. Now because we're late, we spawn all of them, we spawn, you know, they spawn PD, and they probably get a guy spawning, like, Red Room soon. Red Room? Oh, this one's... I'm gonna be scared of Pandale. Well, they they trip was pushed, didn't work, and they all died, right? They're trip... Uh, they're set up? They're pushed, they're set up, yeah. Yeah, they're set up, didn't work. Which... It's like, fine. Because, like, I, I guess they're, like, being... Like their ace in the hole for that setup is that they spawn PD or they spawn close to their ball guy, with so much space on the map that it take. Like I guess they're banking on the fact that it's going to take us so much time right. for yeah. us to get there, longer than eight seconds that we spawn. Right, right, right. That they're going to spawn by the time you know we get here. Uh, Which thinking back at it, like it, it's, it's not it's not that bad. It's actually like not not actually not that Enemy has the bit. ball. Ball dropped. Uh, so he's running at me with that fucking run. assault rifle like he's a fucking master Enemy thief. Has the, ball. <laughs> the fucking Halo theme music playing in his damn headset. Ball dropped. <laughs> Enemy has the ball. Picking Halo 3. Yeah, he's just fucking da -da -da -da, running at me. Standing. We have the ball. Not really much the game right here. My bad. Yeah, so there's not really much to the game right here. Like honestly, everything was kind of just ser served to me by the game on a silver platter. Like, I die here. Either whatever, I got my trade. Enemy has the ball. I spawn P Street. Knowing that I spawn P3, knowing that my teammates are all kind of bunched up together, I know I'm the odd man out. Is it like me just trying to get space as much as possible, or not even trying to get space, but me trying to enter the fight and you know just position my position myself really well for my teammates? So is me just trying to either ape top C as quick as possible, or you know just sit around and dig around? 
which you know I could do eventually. I do get C because I get C like you know we kind of form this L shape, pinching them, which is like really good on on all our on on like this is stuff that we talk about and you know it worked in tournament play, which is like great to see. I just you know try milking, took my time, get this kill. We have Boom. Won. Now we have an L shape on the map. Because we killed this guy C, um, I'm pretty confident that they're not going to spawn C if I push it out. But I don't want to test my luck too much and push too far in. But I do want to poke and prod. I do want to get in there. I do want to shoot my gun. I don't want to be sitting around. So that's what I do. I, I, I try getting in there. I don't see anything. I'm just going to keep going forward. I, because of that, like I get some free kills. We won this this fight. He spawns at C, which is kind of fine because we won the A fight. Honestly, we just kind of flip here, which isn't terrible, but not really ideal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I want to know how the fuck did this go so wrong? Because it looked good. I, I felt like it looked good. It probably we have the yeah, something went wrong that didn't look the greatest, I guess. I have two teammates fighting. Tire side, they're together. They should at least get through. Alright, they split up. Uh, we die without a tree in A side. Finish this fight a little bit too late. Alright, this is fine. Now one of the late spawners. Ah, uh, yeah, Ryan died for camo. Or he popped camo, burnt it. Yeah, this is bad. Like, if, th if this was done quicker, it would have been better. But... I don't really know. <laughs> I don't want I don't know if I should say unfortunate. Like, what really kind of fucked up the fight is that Hus died kind of early. Right. But it's not on Hus. Like, this isn't... This isn't... We don't lose this because of Hus, honestly. We, I think... We lose this because... Maybe I took too much time. I took so much... I actually, yeah. I wouldn't say it's completely on me, but I definitely took too much time. Like, look at all this time that I took. If this guy dies, I'm out. Yeah, because that's two dead, right? As soon as that happens, yep. it's two that's, dead. That's, that's, that's fucking three dead. I'm gone. Yeah, three dead, okay. Yeah, yeah. I am take, take fucking gone. Yep. I'm gone. Like, imagine I run out. I just keep going. I just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm running. I'm yeah, running. how far do you go before oh. you open up C in that respect? So... Because we killed this guy, see, he's not gonna spawn. See, I got like, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, right. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. Like, luckily, he got here, so he, they shouldn't spawn here. But because I'm fucking over, like, being really aggressive and shooting, like, respawners back A, and my teammates are collapsing on PD, they're probably gonna spawn there. Yeah, but so like, if you weren't out, right, it weighs out depending on on that play, that play by play right there. Like him dying, yeah, yeah, yeah. lowers the the chances, but you pushing up and then them pushing up simultaneously could alter the chances depending. On the uh, repeat that, please. So like, y'all killing them top C, right? Makes it yeah. lower that lower likelihood, or yeah, 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 that they're gonna spawn. Like there. if I killed him, if I killed him right here, right, and I fucking oh. leave it, and I go over here, and like nobody, nobody, nobody's here, like you know they're supposed to spawn PD. They won't, even though that like C's open, and like maybe I shoot like once or twice, like this guy back A, they shouldn't spawn C because I just got done killing him C. Right, right, right. Like, it, it, dec it like decreases that spawn that yeah. they're going to spawn C because I just got to like, kill right, him. But there. if, like, all three of y'all ran over there and only, like, two Yeah, if we, if we all run over yeah, here yeah, and we're just fucking running, sure. then, like, they're not just spawn here. They'll probably even spawn Red Room instead of here. But, like, they'll maybe get the spawn still. Like, they, right. they could get this. Right, it's just lower likelihood. Got you. Yeah, it, it just, like, de decreases it. But instead, that like, look at all this time I took after, like, this is, like, honestly, we're probably kind of threw off that push. We is that, like kill this guy i'm one shot so like it's it's understandable why it takes so much time but like this is something that i'm working on something that i need to continue working on is that like kill feed scoreboard like we just got done killing these guys like like they're not coming up until fucking another five six seven seconds right right right. by the time i regain my shields i should already be here i should already be ready to fucking fight but instead i'm slow i'm slow as fuck and i just take Back all this time inbound. all this time Wave a couple seconds, do nothing. Now I go. And you're just that's, a bit late. Yep. That's why we lost this fight. I lost this fight. I lost this this fight. I, I'm really late to our fight. This push. 
my teammates were fighting a fucking war for so long, and I was just digging around. Mm. Now I'm getting there. I finally get here. I get here in time to fucking clean up. I'm the garbage man. Like, this feels really good. It's not. This isn't the greatest. Like, okay. I should be fighting when all of us are fighting, and unfortunately, I didn't. I fucked up. And because of that, I'm going to be left alone. Now I'm fighting... Now I'm going to be fighting alone. Luckily, they don't really push me. My teammate spawns, so now I want to fight with my teammate. My teammate spawns, I'm going to just play it out with them. Like, kind of just, you know, get collapsed on a little bit. We lose the fight. It's whatever. It happens. Enemy. Enemy has the ball. Ball drop. On PD. Enemy has back the ball. A. Teammate's front ball A. Ball front A, helping her. Cafe guy. Looks like we're kind of just bomb rushing now. Good timing. Enemy team nearing victory. Ball dropped. Enemy has the ball. Ball dropped. Enemy has the ball. Ball dropped. We have the ball. Thanks. Just whatever. Not too bad. Not a, not a bad sequence. Uh, the other here. Say what? Yeah, I'll lose here. Yeah, I'll lose the game here. Yeah, I'll lose the game. Did you lose? No. Oh, oh, did we do we lose? Did we lose? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. Like. I thought we were going to win the game. Yeah, it was really close to it. Really because of this. Like, I, I thought I, I clutched the fuck up. You're, you're getting your kills, but, but, um. You're, you're, it's like you're baiting your team pretty much at, the, at this point. At this point? Yeah, or early, early noticed, on. Like, the whole, yeah, a little while, ago, like a little bit, like you. Were yeah, yeah. When like, I was, when I was seeing, around it, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't really baiting my team. It's more or less I'm missing my timings. Like yeah. I'm not timing my fight cool. correctly. Yeah, like I'm not fighting my time, or I'm not timing my fights correctly. So it seems like I'm baiting my team, but I'm like. In all actuality, I'm literally just late. I'm late to the push. I'm late to the fight because I'm not the I'm not the initiator in like most of these fights. Like when I initiate them, they go out, you know, even even better. But there's a lot of times in the game where you know how I was seaside, and it wasn't really a baity type of fight because I literally just got done, you know, getting sea control. Now I'm one shot, like, and my teammates are fighting together. Is right, that right, right. really is that really me baiting or you know my teammates are? It could be my teammates fighting early. Or it could be, be me fighting too late. In my head, it's me fighting too late. Like, right. I didn't get out in time to to fight with my teammates. And I tr tried to get out in time to fight with my teammates. But the, t the moment I get here, my teammates were already dead. So, there, so there's nothing for me to do but, you know, clean up kills and try to play out for the next play. So it does seem... So it does seem like maybe yeah, like during that moment, like I it does look like I baited my teammates, but I tried getting there as fast as I could. I just I fucked up to you know point blank. I fucked up. I messed up the play. Nothing to do but learn from it. After the, I remember during this play, I thought I fucking clutched the fuck up. And this pivotal battle, I I knew that they were pushing me. I killed this guy. Stuck my head. I get out. After getting this guy, like I was like, holy shit, I'm alive. Oh shit. Oh, my man. teammate killed me. Oh, Guess what, no. guys? Guess what, guys? <laughs> my teammate killed me. Huh. Oh. The goal at the end of the day, though, oh. is not having to get to that is point, it? right? Is it Huss again? Who, or is who's that the Ryan? one that killed me? It was the Ryan, same guy who did it. Ryan last fucking time. Geddes. <laughs> Ryan RG3. Just fucking team killing me. <laughs> again. <laughs> we love Ryan. And at that point, like. Now we're just trying to get back into it, but you know we just got them two dying. I'm, oh, I got needed. Yeah, got needed. Like the game's dropped. We lost. Boom, done. Jeez. Nope. So out of all that, what, what's your what's your biggest thing to tell people? I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, that was a lot of fucking info. Oh, that was that was that was like a, a shit ton, and there's a shit ton of information and a shit ton of me just rambling on. <laughs> But, um, I guess to like sum it up is like timings, like time, timing of your fight. When are you fighting? When are your teammates fighting? 
Um, yeah. When are you? When are you fighting? Are you setting up? You know, team pushes, team fights, or are you playing for your individuals? Are you playing for your ones? Like, there's a lot, lot of times during that game where I'm playing for individuals. I'm playing for ones, and you know, I win, yeah. I, I win them, I lose them. It, it does. It does. It's like a. It's like a fifty-fifty, which is like harmful and good at the same time. Um, if I'm winning them consistently, then it's fine. Which like I pretty much was winning them like decently consistently. The only thing that I really fucked up on was like my timing of my team. Like I finally got grasped the concept of like getting in there with my teammates and like getting there early or getting there late or like just just at least getting there. So like I'm there with my team, but now I'm I'm extremely late when I get there with my team. So this is something that I'm working on is timing my fight with my team exactly during the moment. And not being afraid. Being afraid is one of the, 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 the like the biggest factors to your timings. It's like your one shot. You just got done killing three. You don't know where the, where the fourth spawner is, so you're gonna play scared. You're gonna play afraid. Like, like I, I, you don't want to just die from some random guy. You don't even get any damage down. So you know you you play a little bit tighter, which misses out on timings. Something that you know I I I, I did in that last play is like I got one shot. I don't know where fourth guy is. I should know where fourth guy is. My teammates are finding him. I tunnel visioned on, you know, I'm fucking one shot. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I lost my timing because of that. Yeah. Instead, I could have just played out immediately and already set up the play for my teammates. But instead, you know, the fear, the fear factor of it. Yeah, because I, I kind of play, I kind of have the same game, uh, gameplay style. Like I, I, I kind of play the same. So it looks good when some when we're all watching you play and getting all the kills and everything, but when we watch the team from their point of view, they're like looking out like why is he over there? Why is he going that way? Why is yeah, he all the way like, over like you know what I mean? Like it, it looks like why am I over there? But like in the grand scheme of things, it's like I'm over there because if I wasn't over there, one of them would be over there. I'm taking space on the map. I'm gaining this space and and making sure that we have plays and opportunities to make off our respawns it's not that i'm playing away from my teammates and just playing for my individuals and playing for my ones which i do sometimes but most of the times when i'm you know oh so far away from my teammates is because i played it for space I, I i got that space for my team so they could have a play to make off their respawn or they could do something yeah so it's now like you, now you different... give me something to answer now i can answer when they tell me why are you doing that like <laughs> it, that, that's what i play too it's not, it's, not, it's not like all the time you want to do that like most of the time like if you if you like really watch my gameplay, most of the time I'm really like doubled up with a teammate. I'm, I'm most of the time like I'm really close to my teammate, or I'm playing out for space because like we're, we're up on like we're up in the fight. Or if we win the fight, then I'm just rocking out with the cock out, just fucking aping. It doesn't matter if I die. I don't care if I die during yeah. certain moments of the game. It's okay to die. It's great to die during certain moments of the game, and that's exactly. still a, f a factor and a concept that's that I'm I trying say. to grasp. That's what I say. Too. All right, but 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 remember, here's a, here's the thing you got to think about timer is that you're playing at I mean, at different levels, and he has a different reason. He's doing different things, going down different lanes for different in different ways, right? So just because yeah. you tell somebody I'm doing this because I want to get space on the map, doesn't mean it's the correct reason, and it doesn't justify the way you play at all. Like I'm not saying that you're doing it wrong, but it, there's a reason why the team's not winning because maybe those pushes are the incorrect routes to take, or they're the yeah. incorrect timing to take. Like of course he he misses the timings by like two three seconds. Um, but maybe you're missing it by five or ten seconds, which is like an entire life for an, for the team to spawn up, you know. So you got to remember yeah. that you, although your your play style might be somewhat near his, you got to understand the timings. If you don't know when they're spawning up or when they just died or how many of your people are up, you put your team at a worse detriment because of your play style. So yeah, that, that's the thing about like somebody like Descendant, like uh, everybody watches him and they're like, "Fuck, he's doing all this crazy shit. It's amazing." And it is, but it's because the timing's so immaculately close that those things are even possible. So if you don't, if you can't get that though, you look like a fucking idiot aping everything. Like, you know, like it, not saying you do this, but a lot of people do do that at lower diamond levels. They just go and fly at everything. And it just looks like they're just dying on their own behalf, you know? So you can't, you can't say like, this is why I'm doing it until you understand, unless you watch your VODs, which I would recommend this brings up the point. Maybe if you have the same play style as, as Descendant, I'd recommend, and I put it on the side, uh, and I'm gonna put a double time here. His uh, his Metify. He's uh, he's uh, completely affordable. Of course, uh, getting the secondary level in the Clutch Academy, the ten dollars a month, or going through the Patreon gives you a discount. 
with him as well um, since he's a partnered head coach with us. Um, and he has multiple uh, layers of uh, training that you could do with him. Uh, you could d get a discount just from doing uh, five sessions as opposed to basically you get buy four, get one free, if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of how it looks. Um, and it's about $25 a session if you're doing ranked one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, with him, uh, $100 for five sessions. So you get five hours with him, you know, for the price of four. And then being in the Clutch Academy, too, also helps you out as well with those discounts and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, I'll let you take it from there because I'm not the coach here. But I think I, I kind of surmised it a little bit right there, Jason. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, pretty much odd. <laughs> I'm not really good at the ending part or the talk game. <laughs> right. But yeah, if you are trying to really get like yeah, your specific thanks. mechanics down, he's the he's the man for sure. He's one of the, if not the best people to play mechanically. Obviously, he does some crazy stuff, but just like you said, he's trying to get things better. That's something that we have to remember to do ourselves as well. He's constantly like, man, I should have did this. I should have did this. And that's kind of a humble, a big humble thing about somebody like Jason. Like he doesn't have to be humble because he does the crazy shit that looks crazy. And it's like you know, top five MOG if they still had MOG, you know, <laughs> kind of shit. <laughs> um, but that the, the case in point is, like, that's what you got to look at is, like, fixing those timings, fixing your shot, of course, is a big thing. Aim training, mechanics, and all that are great. But knowing when your team's moving and you moving with them or creating space when it's the right time is more important than you being the best shooter, you know, and things of that nature. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could save a teammate and you can get a double kill. Um by being two seconds earlier, right, Jason, in that last one at eight, yeah. right, like yeah, literally like, two seconds earlier, like fuck. I would have probably, I would have probably even like still got those kills, right? I would probably like still got those kills, but my teammates would have been alive. Yep. That's like kind of the point of it. Yeah, like, and then the invis was up. That was such a huge like. Me yeah, being, yeah, dude, that's crazy. Me being late to that like party didn't. It it, it wasn't like a, a statistic like effect. Like, I know a lot of people think when, like, you're late to parties, oh, you're just a cleanup man. Like, even if it, it helps if you're early, if you're if you're early to, early to that party, you could probably still get those kills. And and if, if not more, like, because they did get, end up getting a kill early on in that fight. Like, if I got to that fight early, that could have been a fucking triple. Yeah. I would have been just cleaning up triple kills. Like, instead, it's like, I, I'm mad at myself for not getting that timing, mainly because my teammates died. Mm -hmm. That's on me. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I was. <laughs> oh no, no, I thought I thought he was gonna say something. I thought Tamara was gonna right. say something. No, no, yeah, no, no. I think uh, does anybody? I, that was a pretty long way to look at that, but each and every play is is important to look at in its own individual way. So I think it shows you like you could rewatch this. Everybody, again, the YouTube's on the side. If you haven't already liked or um, subscribed to the YouTube, please do so. He's, Noxious Place says I love Descendant, the profile pic. Uh, he says it. <laughs> he says it. Yeah. He has cowboy <laughs> no, hat. It, it, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no. His uh, his Batman uh, on profile pic for his uh, Discord. Oh, oh okay. I was yeah, like, yeah. man. He's like, I was like, damn. All right. He's like, <laughs> I like your profile pic, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, no. But uh, um, I just wanted to say it real quick. I really love the energy that uh descendant like you know kept in here, and uh, also clutch. You know, you were making some remarks and you know highlights that really made this session uh lively, man. I appreciate you both. You know, just uh keeping it alive and just going in uh. Yeah, in here when everyone was like pretty much quiet yeah i i'm i'm happy that you know you enjoyed it with it he 100 percent. anybody else got any questions power line kaimo professor uh turtle i know you're still here uh, dionic uh welcome I dionic i haven't seen you before i don't think maybe once or twice uh anything specific that you want to say to descendant um good luck <clears throat> maybe <laughs> It's uh, it's good to see rock rock optics 